This sourdough brioche is a game changer. I don't know that I will ever buy a loaf of commercial brioche again. The texture of this loaf is so light and shreddable, honestly, everyone will love it. Throughout this video, you'll hear some tips and tricks to make this the best brioche ever. And as always, you'll find the ingredients and instructions in the description below. So let's get started. The night before you make your dough, You'll want to prepare your stiff starter at around 10 p.m. so it's ready to go around noon the next day. When your stiff starter has peaked, you can start by adding 400 grams of flour to a medium bowl. Add to that 50 grams of milk and then 8 grams of salt. To that, add 80 grams of sugar, all of the stiff starter, and four eggs. Mix all of that together by hand or using a stand mixer. You'll want the dough to be cohesive before you add your butter. Before adding the butter, I let my dough rest for about 20 minutes. Butter actually inhibits gluten development, which is why you'll often see in brioche recipes that it is added after all the other ingredients are mixed together. You can definitely knead this by hand, which is what I did when I made it this time around. However, it'll be so much faster using a stand mixer. Just make sure whichever way you decide to do it, that you do reach window pane. That is stretching out the dough until you can almost see through it without the dough breaking at all. At this point, the dough will be ready for the bulk fermentation at around 79 degrees Fahrenheit for eight to 10 hours, after which the dough will be placed in the fridge overnight. The next day, you'll pull it out, deflate it, and then shape it. Use the bench scraper to cut the dough into four even portions. Now I know this might be a little bit unconventional, but I tend to dust my dough with a little bit of rice flour instead of all-purpose flour. It makes it so much easier to shape. Mm -hmm. Now I've got two young kids so you'll often hear them in the backgrounds of my videos. Yeah. Place each individual roll up into a really well greased loaf pan. I used Pam and it worked perfectly. Cover the dough and let it proof for around five hours at a temperature of around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So this one proved a little bit unevenly and it was likely due to shaping. Brush with an egg wash and bake. Okay, just look at how amazing this looks. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments. I hope you try out this recipe and love it as much as I do. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe.